the campaign already. Joe Biden touting his experience as Barack Obama's vice president, which might be resonating with Democrats in New Hampshire. New poll shows him doubling the field, doubling the support of Bernie Sanders, his closest competitor. I want to bring in Dr. Bill Bennett, now former Secretary of Education, Fox News contributor. Good day to you, sir. Just a moment ago, we got this tweet. Sir. Looks to me like it's going to be sleepy, creepy, Joe, over crazy Bernie. Everyone else is... Everyone else is fading fast. That from the West Wing a moment ago. What, what it, what's going on out there, do you think, right now that shows Biden with such a healthy lead in a state where Bernie Sanders did very well three years ago? Familiarity, uh, safe. Uh, uh, they like Joe. People like tend to like Joe. Uh, nostalgia for Obama, not, uh, not for Hillary Clinton. Uh, and most of all, uh, they want to beat Donald Trump, and they think this is the way to do it. But it's a long way uh, from now to New Hampshire, and we shall see. Uh, I still think that we're going to see gaffes by Joe Biden. I think we're going to see a rehash of his history uh, that the left is going to bash him with, and I think he's going to be damaged by it. So we shall see. So they did that poll, too, that I just showed. One-third said they want to, among Democrats, they want to protect the legacy of Barack Obama. Two-thirds said they're looking for somebody who can beat Donald Trump. Yeah, that's right. That's the motivation, Bill, is to beat Donald Trump. I know they say health care is the number one issue. In terms of issues, apart from personalities and politics, it is the economy. It's always the economy. But remember, when the economy is doing well, people tend to assume it's doing well, and they forget about it, so they put something else forward. But uh, when it comes time to vote, uh, that economy is going to register big time. Well, that's uh, but Very yeah, no, I think the motivational factor here... Yeah. The, 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 the motivational the, factor here is Donald Trump. Yeah, I apologize about the interruption here. Health care is on the screen here. 41% yeah, yeah. in this poll picked health care. 41%. But you're saying when the economy is doing well, everything else just kind of fades and you have different priorities. But you come back to the economy. That's the argument you're making. Yeah, well, I think, I think it, uh, the history shows it does tend to turn on the economy. And although people might take it for granted at this stage, since it's doing so well, on Election Day they may figure differently. But fair enough. The health care issue, good thing the president did uh, yesterday. Uh, but uh, the Republican Party needs to do more, needs to come up with a good plan, good alternative to Obamacare. And isn't it interesting uh, how high health care registers in this era of Obamacare? People know it's not right. Okay, here is a moment from yesterday. I'm going to play this for you, okay? Here's the president talking about the health care initiative. But I got a little something from Joe Biden, too, which draws an interesting contrast. First from the West Wing. Watch. Our initiative to end surprise medical billing is one of the many steps we're taking to fix our nation's broken health care system and to deliver better care with more choices at lower costs. My administration is eager to work with both parties in Congress to save American patients, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So th their approach is different from the Democrats, clearly. And Joe Biden was out in L.A. He talked about whether you're legal or illegal, you should get health care. He said this. Anyone who is in a situation that has regardless of whether they're documented or undocumented, we have an obligation to keep their okay, So let's frame the argument here. And go ahead and size it up, and how does each side play it, do you think? Just what is the distinction between a citizen and a non-citizen in the Democrat mind? Uh, look, these uh, resources aren't infinite. The contrast is very clear, those good quotes you have. Donald Trump is, this is the new populism. He is speaking about health care costs from the perspective of the consumer and saying, you know, what can we do uh, to get this right, to get these health costs down, to make them more public? Joe Biden is talking about uh, health care for undocumented aliens. Uh, very different emphasis, a very, very different approach. Uh, and this populism is what got uh, Donald Trump into office. Uh, you look at the numbers at the border. I mean, you all do that every day. Uh -huh. uh, and these are unprecedented numbers, as even former uh, uh, Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson said. Uh, you're going to provide health care and everything else that cit uh, citizens of the United States get to these folks? That, I think, is uh, not going to sell with a lot of Americans. Why do you think that Bernie Sanders, who won New Hampshire, wh why would he not be doing better up there? Oh, is, is there something moving on the Democratic left that you're picking up that they don't like in his ideas now, all of a sudden? Uh, well, I, some. There's a little worry uh, about him, or there's a lot of worry about him from the center. The question is, what governs uh, this nomination process? 
And last time, you remember, the Bernie people, Bill, thought that uh, the Hillary people stole the nomination from him. They're not going to let it happen this time. Uh, they've got com com the passion on their side. You showed earlier a clip of uh, Alexandra uh, Ocasio-Cortez and Bernie sitting there talking about a credit card uh, cap uh, on, on interest rates. Uh, you know, that's where the energy is. That's where the drive is. So we'll see. But coming out of the blocks, coming out of the gate, uh, Joe Biden, you know, is very familiar. People are going to support him. But, you know, will they really have the kind of passion for Biden uh, that uh, supporters for, for Bernie uh, and some of the others, but mainly for Bernie, have? Uh, you know, there wasn't that passion for Hillary. People felt, <clears throat> well, she's the best candidate and she's one most likely to, uh, to win. Didn't turn out that way. Uh, funny currents operate in the nomination process. Yeah, indeed they and the do. The Democrats yeah. really like to kind of fall in love with somebody. Yeah, you know? I, just a last comment on this. The economy's good, we're roaring, but you're a year and a half away also. Now, a lot can change in that time. What do you think the headwinds are for President Trump trying to win re-election? Well, I, I mean, if the economy holds, I think it's very, very good for him, very, very strong for him, plus other issues. I think he wins, though it's a big debate. I think he wins on the immigration issue, which is, uh, I think, uh, close to rivaling the economy as the number one issue. Uh, and I think the record of achievements, uh, you know, internationally and, and, and domestically. So I think stick to the agenda, get more done. Uh, I'm encouraged by these last quarter reports that this economy is going to stay strong. We shall see. Boy, are they avoiding that as a topic on the Democrat side. And that's a giant gorilla to be avoiding, or a bear, if you will. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Thank you. Have a great weekend, okay? We'll see you on Wise Guys yeah. and everywhere else in yeah, between yeah. along the way. Dr. Bill Bennett, thanks. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Right, right on. Thank you.